ranked team in the state in this division. They are, red, they are led by Anthony Pastor, the league champion, the Clovis Invitational champion, the Ventura County champion. He finished second at Woodbridge, ran an impressive 13 48. He has run 851 for 3200 on the track and 408 48 for 1600. Just committed this week to run for the University of Oregon. He'll be leading Ventura today.
we're now just five minutes away from our first race of the day, boys division two, heat number one, race number one, scheduled to go at 8.30. Dark Frank team is Ventura. We mentioned we have several outstanding individuals. J.R. Lesher of Wainimi is the Citrus Coast League champion. He's running in this race. Grant Miller of Lacerna, the Del Rio League champion, be in this race. We mentioned a minute ago, Anthony Pat in this race.
And here we go, right on time. Race one, boys division two, underway. If you are a spectator and you haven't been to our course before, welcome. If you go through the practice track area and go out the gate at the southwest corner, you can go across the bridge there, and that bridge will take you to the valley loop. What's great about this course, they will come by that spot five times during the race, and you get to watch them each time. Now you have to be pretty quick to get back over the bridge and get up to the finish line after they come down on the airstrip for last time, but certainly you get to see most of the race if you go through the practice track. That's the area between the finish line and the start line. Go to the southwest corner, go over the bridge, and go down into the valley loop. That's the first half mile down there. Then they'll do it again. They'll do two loops of that valley loop. The mile mark there will come up right before they start heading up the first of the three big hills, the switchbacks. If you haven't already, if you download the app Finished Results, Finished Results, ED, and then an S on the end, Finished Results, you can actually see the mile mark and the score and the two mile mark and the score and then of course the all important finish and the score of each team and see who is qualified. You can look at that throughout the day. So it's the app is finished results and you can see live scoring from the mile and the two mile and of course the finish. And teams and athletes in race two, the second heat of boys division two, you should be at the clerk now. They're about ready to take you on the track. Once again, coaches, 15 minutes prior to the start of your race, you need to be at the clerk. And our leaders out very quickly through the first 800 meters. Anthony Fasthorst of Ventura, certainly one of the top runners in the country, leading that group. And then right with him also, Grant Miller of Lucerna. Ran 15-14 here at Mount Sac during the Invitational. The Del Rio League champion and the Channel League champions out quickly during the first 800 meters. And here come our leaders now to the first mile. And as we mentioned, Anthony Fasthorse of Ventura leading us through that first mile right at 448. 
A relatively conservative first mile. Micah Watson of Fontana up there with him. Grant Miller of Lucerna. Lesher of Wainimi, Grossman of Ventura, Ornelas of Ayala, Saldana of Citrus Valley, Rippy of Norco, Ontiveros of Citrus Valley, Zavala of Woodbridge. It's our top 10, 448 to 451 through the first mile. Now they go up the switchbacks for few turns there. It's the longest of all the three hills when you put it all together. And Fast Horse has opened up a little bit of a lead about five meters, it looks like, over Watson of Fontana. Miller and Lesher of Wainimi also moving well. Spreading out a little bit, heading up to the top. Almost 450 meters all the way from the bottom to the top. When they get to the top, they're about another 100 meters to go, and then they will descend about a half mile down to the crossover. That's where they cross over from one side of the course to the other, and then they'll tackle the second big hill, Pupau Hill. Fast horse now just about to the crest, and he's now on the downhill. The score at the mile mark, now this is the team score at the mile mark, Ventura 46, Ayala 71, Citrus Valley 122, Woodbridge 125, Claremont 136, Lacerna 147, Fontana 174, Wainimi 230, Paris 235, Newport Harbor 246. So the first five teams by score will automatically move on to next Saturday's championship. The sixth place team has a chance to move on if its team time is faster than the other two heats, sixth place teams. So right now Ventura, Ayala, Citrus Valley, Woodbridge, and Claremont are our leading five teams. Now they move from behind the stadium, just about to come into Guard Alley and head down to the crossover. Anthony Fastor's comfortably in the lead. Looks like Ben Rippey of Norco in there. We can also see Grant Miller of Lacerna. Looks like Michael Watson has joined that group. And our first four have kind of uh, moved together there. Once again, we're just qualifying today. Most teams just moving on, trying to make sure they're in that group. Grossman of Ventura up there with Miller and also looks like Watson in there. race goes to the back they'll go to the two mile just a reminder so we will have another race start before the other race has finished the previous race 
So we just tell you that, so if an official or one of the security people asks you to hold up, you may be looking at a race coming one direction, or another race may be coming another direction, and you certainly don't want to impede the progress of any race. So if one of the officials asks you to hold up, there's a reason for that. So please listen to them and let the athletes pass. And they go by the two mile mark. Fast Horse continues to lead. Ben Rippey of Norco though has joined just a second back. Fast Horse was 10.07 at the two mile mark. Rippey 10.08 and Fast Horse's teammate Grossman 10.09 in third. Lesher of Wainimi in fourth at 10.11. Then a little bit of a gap of about 10 seconds. Grant Miller of Lucerna, Micah Watson of Fontana both at 10.22. And Caleb Ornelas of Ayala, 10:25. Carlos Merdiaga of Newport Harbor. He moved up 13 spots between the mile and the two mile. He's now in eighth place, ran 10:27 there. Saldana of Citrus Valley and Aiden Antonio of Woodbridge. That marks our top 10. Aiden's teammate Aiden Zavala is 11th at 10:34. Ventura and Ayala, the first schools with five runners through the two mile. Claremont now joins them with five. Woodbridge and Lacerna with five through the two mile. Next time you'll see them, if you look to the west, you see the big hill, that's Reservoir, the two reservoirs at the top. That, when they get to that point, they have just about a half mile to go. If you're looking for them, if you look to the right of that hill, that's where they start to climb, and we should see those leaders coming around that turn shortly. And they make that U-turn heading up Reservoir, Anthony Fast Horse and Ben Rippey, Fast Horse from Ventura, Rippey from Norco. They've got a little bit of a separation now of about 30 meters. Grossman is the teammate of Fast Horse from Ventura running in third there, right with Lesher of Wainimi. And they've got a little bit of a gap. And here we go with heat number two of Boys Division Two. In each division, the heats run back to back to back, so the third heat of Division Two will be next, and those athletes should be at the clerk of the course now. Fast Horse going over the top of Reservoir, a very conservative, easy race for him day, 12.45 with 800 meters to go. Rippy and goes over the top of Reservoir in second, Lesher in third, Grossman in fourth, And our Heat 2 now making their way through the first half mile, Heat number 1. Fast Horse has come down off the top of Reservoir in the area known as the Saddle, the last downhill. He's got just about 500 meters to go. Rippy comes off that, making that big turn in second. Grossman and Lesher in third. Real quick, the score at two miles. We had Ventura at 42, Ayala 87, Claremont 101, Woodbridge 115, Lacerna 129, and Fontana in that sixth spot at 152, Citrus Valley at 176. That was the score at two miles, and our leaders now coming on the airstrip have just about 400 meters to go. way right by the start line here. Anthony Fastorce now 200 meters to go. Rippy in second. Lesser and Grossman. And here comes moving up, making sure he's in that individual race, Grant Miller of Lacerna. But his team also doing well. They are fifth right now. 
coming into the finish here. The Woodbridge boys are moving up. And Fast Horse now into the gauntlet. He is going to be in the low 15s. This is going to be the easiest 15, low 15 race you have ever seen. Here he comes. Fast Horse, as comfortable as can be, right at 15.05. Rippy charging in the blue, coming under the bridge. Fast Horse, 15.09. Rippy. Oh my, here comes Miller. Miller has made a big move into third. Miller and Lesher and Grossman. They're running very nice, 15-20s. Watson coming under the track, and then here comes Antonio, Aiden Antonio of Woodridge. Ornelas of Ayala, they're battling in this team race here. Maradiga of Newport Harbor. And now we start looking for times and places. Remember, the first five teams move on. It's an outstanding race here for a qualifying race. We're still under 16 minutes. Oh my, we hit 16 right now. 16 minutes. Fast horse, the official winning time, 15.09. And Ventura now with all five of its runners across the finish line. Officially, Rippy was second at 15-16. Miller third at 15-20. Lesser 15-20 of Wainimi. Ayala now with five across the finish line. So Ventura and Ayala looking good. Grossman of Ventura 15-23. Watson of Fontana sixth at 15-30. Aiden Antonio of Woodridge, 15.31. Caleb Ornelas of Ayala, 15.39. That would be the top eight. So those individuals, if their teams do not move on, they will. Neely of Claremont, the first of the Claremont runners, ninth at 15.28. Maradiga of Newport Harbor, 15.48. So now Claremont, Woodbridge, and Lucerna and Fontana have joined our top groups with five across the finish. Now the team scores will change as runners continue to finish. If the school does not finish five of those individuals, they're all taken out of the scoring. But right now we've got Ventura 38, Claremont 83, Isla 94, Woodridge 100, and La Cerna 113. Looks like Fontana will be that sixth place team at 128, Citrus Valley at 155. And moving to the next race, Division Two, they are just about to the top of the switchbacks. At the mile mark, our leader was Matthias Oliveros of Glendora. He came by at 4.43. Newman of Canyon and Getz of Canyon, they were second and third. Otten and Zamora of Hart, McFarland of Peninsula, and then Glendora with all five of its scorers in the top nine spots as they went through the mile. So the score at one mile, Glendora 32, Hart 79, El Dorado 97, Canyon 106, Esperia 113, University 137, El Toro 187. That is the scores through the first mile. Once again, that is the first five teams automatic qualifiers for next Saturday's championship held right here at Mount Sac.
As our boys now come to the crossover, our top ranked team in this race is Glendora, the Palomares League's champions. They won the Mount Sac Division II sweepstakes race, averaged 15.42, and they have all five of their scores in the top 10. Hart right there, also the Foothill League champions. El Toro, currently ranked number nine, they were second in that Mount Sac sweepstakes race, or they were the winners, excuse me, of Division II. And El Dorado, the Century League champions, also in there running well. now heading up poop out so uh, great conditions in which to run the course is in great shape the weather's cool judging from those times of a very easy 1509 winning our first heat so the course is fast our boys making their way to the two mile the next race getting ready to start in just a couple minutes will be the third heat in this division this will be boys division two heat getting ready to go at the start line have gone through the two mile and Jaden gets a uh, canyon 10 16 and his teammate Newman just three seconds back uh, they are going one two and then Otten and Zamora of Hart at 10 24 McFarland of Peninsula has moved up well he is in fifth Silas Whiteson of University has moved up nine spots from the mile mark he's running in sixth at 10 27 Glassmeyer of El Dorado, seventh at 10.27. Then Jack McDonald of El Dorado, his teammate, they are running seven and eight. Tobin of University in ninth at 10.31. Oliveros of Glendora, 10.32. And then the El Toro boys running well together. Bulacau, Aliaga, and Venegas running together in 11, 12, and 13. They came by at 10.34 as Division 2 E3 goes. That was the gun that we just heard. All the Glendora boys running together, Terrazas, Emmis, Flores, Sandoval, all together right at 10.35. Our team score at two miles, the team score two miles, El Dorado is our leader at 71, Glendora 72, Hart 79, Canyon 111, and El Toro 111. Doesn't matter what place you get today, as long as you're in the top five, those are our top five. University is in sixth at 125, Hesperia 156, and Mira Valley 175. That was the team score at two miles. Here come our boys from Canyon, Getz and Newman, halfway up Reservoir, running well together. And Otten and Zamora in the top five. McFarland of Peninsula continues to move up, and now he is in the fourth place there. 
They're at the top of the Reservoir Hill. They're going to go over right at 1305. 1305 at the top of the hill. And once again, looking for the team, El Dorado, Glendora, and Hart comfortably out front in the top three. Then a great battle with Canyon and El Toro for four and five. University is 15 points back in sixth. Hesperia 30 points back in seventh. So once again, in this race here, the top five teams move on. Sixth place team has a shot based on team time and individuals. If their team does not move on, and they are in the top eight in this race. They come on to next Saturday's CF Southern Section Championships held right here at Mount Sac. We hope you'll join us. It really is the greatest section in the country and our section finals right here next Saturday at Mount Sac. Hart has moved up, but really we've got five boys in that lead group all cruising through, just making their way to the final there. Otten, Getz, Newman, and McFarlane in there. Into the airstrip here and on to the gauntlet coming out under Bader Bridge. Just about to come up into the sun here, Otten of Hart. And he's going to be right in that low 15 20 range. So Hart's first runner across Peninsula and then Canyon with two. Hart now with two. Individuals gets ends up. Auden was our winner at 15:24. McFarland of Peninsula 15:30, and Gets also 15:30 of Canyon. Then Zamora of Hart 15:31. Newman of Canyon fifth at 15:33. Bula Cow of El Toro 15:35. Whiteson of University and Tobin of University, both at 1537. Those are the top eight individuals. El Dorado and Glendora have five runners across. across the finish line. And Canyon joins that group with five across the finish. like University will be the sixth place team and looking at preliminary team times they are faster than the Fontana team that finished sixth in the previous heat 
as our third heat now, just about to the top of the switchbacks. This is the fluid team scoring. This is not final, but right now we've got Hart at 72, El Dorado at 73, Glendora at 78, El Toro at 93, and Canyon and Anaheim at 115. Those looks to be the automatic qualifiers and University right now in the sixth spot, but on team time now in the qualifying spot, they will be going up against the sixth place team in the heat currently on the course. University just four seconds faster than Fontana for that sixth and final spot. But we still need to see the sixth place team here. And this race, the, the Division II Heat Three features our defending state champions, Newberry Park, the defending state champions and Southern Section champions. They're Mon Monte League champions once again this year, currently ranked third in the state, third in the section. Santa Barbara currently ranked fourth. They were eighth in the state last year and fifth in the last year in the Southern Section Finals. Tesoro, seventh in the state last year, fourth in the Southern Section. Those are our top three teams here as they come down behind the stadium heading to the crossover. Keep everything on the line, come on. You're almost there, spread it. There you go. As they make their way at the crossover, our leader, Eamon Gordon of Dos Pueblos, Santa Barbara County champion this year. He is our leader, then Dev Doshi, Newberry Park, the Marmonte League champion, and his teammate just a spot behind in fourth, Arnav Chetty. He is uh, was second in the Marmonte League. In between them, Andreas Dibdahl of Santa Barbara, he was the Mount Sac Division II Sweeps champion, ran 1506. So our top four, Gordon of Dos Pueblos, Doshi of Newberry Park, and Dibdahl, Santa Barbara, and Shetty of Newberry Park heading there up poop out now. And our team score at the mile in this heat three here in Division Two. Tesoro was our leader at 60, Newberry Park 76, Santa Barbara 79, Rio Mesa 106, Dos Pueblos 109, Seekerstrom 151, and Foothill of Santa Ana 161. That was at one mile. We should get a two mile here in just a couple moments. And going through the two mile, Santa Barbara runners here, Gordon of Dos Pueblos and Dibdahl of Santa Barbara. There are leaders right at 1027. Doshi at 1029 from Newberry Park. Now Cushion of Tesoro has moved up into fourth. And Horrocks of Foothill right with him. They rose, came by at 1030. Shetty of Newberry Park sixth at 1032. Gully of Dos Pueblos in seventh, 1033. Horrocks of Foothill in eighth, Manning of Tesoro in ninth, Winger of Mira, Mira, Rio Mesa in 10th.
And now our score at the two mile mark, and this is a division two race, so these would be the top five teams are moving on. This was the score at two miles. We had Tesoro at 65, and Santa Barbara also at 65. Newberry Park just two ticks back at 67, and Dos Pueblos at 74. So those four, very comfortable. Then a great battle shaping up for those five and six spots. Foothill Santa Ana, 142 in fifth. Rio Mesa, 155 in sixth. And then Seegerson a little bit back at 190 and Burroughs Burbank at 204. So DeSora, Santa Barbara, Newberry Park, and Dos Pueblos look to be comfortably in those first four. And then a good battle with Foothill and Rio Mesa in 505 and 6. Over the top of the hill there, Dibdahl of Santa Barbara. He's our leader, just right around 13 minutes, just a tick under. Cushion now moving up for Tesoro. Doshi goes over the top in fourth. And now, moving off the airstrip into the gauntlet, here comes our leader, Andres Dibdahl of Santa Barbara, the senior, who was the Division II Sweepstakes Championship here at Mount Sac early. He ran 15.06. He's cruising today, and he's going to be pretty close to that. Oh, my, we're still under 15 now. Fastest time of the day so far has been 15.09, but we're going to be right around there. So Dibdahl cruising up. Coming in at a very comfortable and very fast 15-10. Oh, my. Amen. Here comes Aiden Gordon of Dos Pueblos now coming under the bridge. And just a few steps back, Griffin Cushion up to Soro now under the bridge. And they're going to finish right at 15-30. Jack Horrex, uh, Foothill with a nice finish into fourth. Doshi of uh, Newberry Park and Shetty of Newberry Park in fifth and sixth. Gully of Dos Pueblos in seventh. And Horrex, Nathaniel Horrex of Santa Foothill in eighth. So it looks like all eight, those first eight individuals are all going to be on qualifying teams. Santa Barbara is the first team with five across, and Newberry Park now with five. Tesoro and Dos Pueblos join Santa Barbara and Newberry Park with five finishers now.
and these boys here in this big room all under 17. We're still right at 1655. now with five finishers. So it's looking pretty good for Newberry Park, Santa Barbara, DeSoto, and Dos Pueblos. Then we've got a battle, Rio Mesa, and now Burroughs of Burbank has moved up well with five across the finish. Santa Ana now with five across. Looks like our team scoring here, Newberry Park's gonna win this heat at 57, Santa Barbara 59, Dos Pueblos 76, Tesoro 77. Those are the top four, and now it's looking like Foothill of Santa Ana is gonna be the fifth team in that heat at 150. Rio Mesa will be sixth, their team time 83-44. So unofficially right now, it looks like University is gonna be that sixth place team time qualifier in division two. Turn our attention to girls division two, heat one. We've got three heats here. Top five teams will automatically qualify on to next week's CIF championships. And of course that sixth place team, that is gonna be decided by the last, those three races, the fastest team times. Sadie Engelhart, our defending Division II champion here. She's taken the group out through this first mile, representing those Cougars of Ventura. They are top ranked 
and looking to make it to the CIF Finals for the ninth consecutive year. Of course, they're our Channel League champs. Also highly ranked here, we got Citrus Valley, our Citrus Belt League champions. Newberry Park, they were second place in the Marmonte League to Oaks Christian. And Westlake, also in that tough Marmonte League. Singlehart, now a junior, two-time Foot Locker National Finalist, and that brings us to all of you that want to join us here on December 2nd. You can sign up for the Foot Locker West Regionals here on site. Doug Todd and the tent all set up there near the finish line. for the Foot Locker West Regionals. There's a QR code there just on the other side of the finish line near the Southern Section tent. We'll go over and see that board that's set up and we invite all of you to see you back here on December 2nd. And Mount Sac is the host of the Western Regionals. Glad to hear it. Also projected to move forward here are Del Rio League champions Lacerna, led by Lana Turner. Heart of Ventura. So you can see her all by herself. She's already created quite a gap there on the field as she's about to approach the mile mark. And of course, momentarily, we'll be able to give you team scores here at this first split. Of course, our folks from finished results providing live splits there at the mile and the two mile mark. And Englehart coming through a very comfortable 5 10. 5-10 at the mile mark here for Inglehart, the junior at Aventura. Let's go, Gabby! Give me more, Gabby! Good job, Gabby! And Melanie True and Ayla Curtis of Ventura. So Ventura coming through the one mile mark going one, two, and three. Meanwhile, Caitlin Carmichael trying to qualify as an individual and join her boys team from University High School in next week's festivities. In fifth place, Tiffany Sachs of Ventura and Gabriella Romero lead the charge there for Citrus Valley at the mile mark. But Ventura and Citrus Valley are two teams with five across. Lucerna now with five across, joining in Newberry Park. And our preliminary team scores here, Ventura out well in this first mile top seed and last year they took second Inglehart, the junior out of Ventura, all by herself there, right behind our HD runner's camera. He looked at the top of switchbacks now. She's starting to work her way down behind the stadium. Meanwhile, her teammates taking care of business as well. The True and Curtis and Sachs all running together. Well, at the one mile mark, our one mile, our one mile split, our team scores here, Ventura at 35, Citrus Valley at 54, Lacerna at 108, Newberry Park at 113, Westlake at 141, and Norco just ahead of Northwood there for that sixth spot. 
Again, top five teams automatically qualify on it next weekend. And when we look at those three sixth place finishers, we'll take the fastest team time of those three. So you'll see Sadie Engelhart now behind the stadium. And now he's comfortably working her way down almost to the to the, uh, the alley there and she'll be about a 30 second lead there over everybody else here in heat one of the division two girls. Give her some love here. This is Inglehart now coming through the alley, and she'll be coming over to the crossover. And so Inglehart making it look all too easy. One of the more decorated young ladies we've ever had here in the state of California. The two-time footlocker champion. The defending state champion from Division II a year ago as she's now purring her way towards poop out. Meanwhile, everybody else in that team battle now starting to come into sight here. Citrus Valley, Lucerna, and Newbury Park favored to make it on a next week and taking care of business halfway through the race here. They are in the top four spots. Meanwhile, Westlake, Norco, and Northwood battling for those other spots there Sir, to move on to next Sir, week. Just stand there? Thank you. And now those Cougars of Ventura, they have now occupied and monopolized those top four spots here in this first heat of Division Two. Meanwhile, Heat Two about to go off here. So Engelhart making this look like a training run here. 11-10 at the two mile mark. 11-10 for Engelhart. Meanwhile, her teammates still occupying those second, third, and fourth spots. And Ventura looking like a lock onto moving on to next weekend. But that battle between Citrus Valley, University, Lucerna, Newberry Park,
Meanwhile, coming to the two-mile mark, Melanie True, the sophomore from Ventura, coming across at 12.05. Haley Lamelli of Citrus Valley now moving into that third spot at 12.10. Halo Curtis of Ventura at 12.10. Tiffany Sachs of Ventura at 12.18. Romero of Citrus Valley at 12.21. Natalie Conte of Norco at 12.23. And Carmichael of University currently in that eighth spot there at the two-mile. Englehart at the very top of Poop Out with a little more than 800 meters to go. Englehart with about a one minute gap there over the competition to the point where our HD Rudder's camera is now rotated back and now videotaping second, third, and fourth. Second, third, and fourth now. Combination of Citrus Valley and Ventura intermingling with one another here. But meanwhile, heat two of Division Two girls getting after it and going into the first of two Valley Loops. Sadie Englehart, the junior, working her way down the saddle. And everybody else right now starting to approach the top of Poop Out with about a half mile to go. Let's go, Nick, I'm just going to hold here. Let's go, At the two mile mark. Team scores here Ventura 29, Citrus Valley 82, Newberry Park 96, Lucerna 119, Westlake 126, and San Marcos and Norco battling for that sixth spot that could possibly move and advance on to next weekend. But Ventura, Citrus Valley, Newberry Park, Lucerna, and Westlake occupying those top five spots with less than a mile to go. And Inglehart making a look as easy as you're going to see here, just like her teammate Fast Horse in that first heat. But she's going to be under 17. That clock currently only at 16-18 as she goes into the gauntlet. At 16.35, here she comes, the junior and defending champion, two-time Footlocker national finalist, Miss Sadie Englehart, and she's gonna cruise in, that clock at 16.45. And unofficially at 16.53, 16.53 there for Englehart.
Are they talking to me? And that time from Inglehart, officially 1652.3, the sixth fastest girl ever in Division II yeah. history. She was a minute ahead, right? Yeah. Ayla Curtis and True coming through. And we also got our young ladies from Citrus Valley. So Ingo Hart, Curtis and True. One, two, three sweep there for Ventura. Lamelli of Citrus Valley coming across and fourth there at 18, 12. That clock still under 19 minutes. And Tiffany Sachs of Ventura coming up there for fifth. So Ventura taking care of business there. Four in the top five spots. Iwal Conde of Norco. And again, there's the individual spots up for grabs here. Top eight individuals on non-qualifying teams will also advance on to next week. Norco, 1844. Gabriela Romero, Citrus Valley, 1850. Oz of San Marcos, 1850. Top eight there. Carmichael of University taking ninth. And Sophia Park coming in under 19 minutes. That'll be our first score there for our defending champions, Newberry Park. See there, Claremont, currently ranked number two in Division Two. Ayala, ranked number five. Canyon of Anaheim, ranked number eight. Modern Day, ranked 11th. Peninsula, ranked 14th. Those are your top seeds in Division Two. Heat Two, Meanwhile, Ventura, and now Newberry Park, our second team with five across there in Heat Two. Heat One. So unofficially here, these results are still fluid, but the top four teams there in Division Two, Heat One, Ventura, Newbury Park, Citrus Valley, and Westlake are top four seeds looking to comfortably advance there in that Heat One. In fifth right now, Lucerna. But Ventura, very impressive performance there, with very impressed and 91.06 team time, averaging 18.13 per girl. Of course, with Sadie Inglehart leading the way there at 16.52. mile mark here in Division 2, Heat 2. We've got Ayala and Claremont neck and neck after the, through that first mile. Canyon out of Anaheim Hills currently occupying that third spot. The young ladies, the Monarchs from modern day in fourth, just ahead of Peninsula and Serrano. And up 
up front here. Edwards of Claremont along with her teammate, Denise Chen. We got Villegas of Ayala, Roxana Diaz of Santa Ana Valley, and Kiki Robart of Newport, both trying to qualify as individuals. So that 9106 from Ventura, the seventh fastest ever at the Mount Sac course for the CIF prelims. 9106, 1813 average there for our young ladies from Ventura. Meanwhile, Edwards, very talented 800 meter runner, now representing Claremont. She continues to move ahead. And now has opened up about a five second lead there as she now is at the bottom of switchbacks. Also in that front group there, we got Bulmer of Claremont, McKenna Oliva of Canyon, Olivia Kim of Ayala, Heimbach of Peninsula, and rounding out that top 10 there for our mile mark, that was Phoebe Kim of Ayala. Our top five teams automatically moving forward on to next week, and then we look and find the fastest sixth place team out of the three heats, and that team too receives an invitation on to the CIF Championships. Of course, the CIF Championships are going to be here next week at Mount Sac. The road to the California State Meet runs through Mount Sac, and next week we kick off the action at 7.45 a.m. Edwards and Robar, two of our more talented half-milers in this upcoming track season. Both have gone under 212 and a half mile, but now putting on a show here for the three-mile course here at Mount Sac. So Edwards and Robar, Claremont and Newport Harbor running 1-2 as they approach poop out. Our third heat here, Girls Division Two, on the starting line, and our second heat, our leaders now approaching the two-mile mark. Last time we looked there, Lamel Edwards, the talented senior at Claremont High School, leading the way, and she continues to charge her way, coming through the two-mile mark at 12:05. But Keaton Robar, Newport Harbor, right on her shadow along with Lauren Villegas of Ayala, right there at 12-12. Those are our top three coming through the two-mile mark.
Going back to the Heat 2, Claremont with a lead over Ayala, our two top-ranked teams. Living up to the rankings there. Canyon of Anaheim Hills currently in third at the two-mile mark. Modern day, trying to make their way back to the CIF Finals for the first time since 2018 in the 16-team format. They're currently in fourth. Peninsula occupying that fifth and automatic qualifying spot. Meanwhile, Serrano and Segerstrom fighting for that sixth spot. But Claremont and Ayala and Canyon of Anaheim Hills are comfortably ahead, occupying those three spots. Edwards continuing to be our leader from Claremont. You're going to look over to the west there, and you'll see her almost approaching the very top of poop out. Keaton Robar in the navy blue of Newport Harbor, currently in second, and trying to advance as an individual. Her teammate, Marley McCullough, she's in heat three and also trying to advance as an individual. And McKenna Oliva now making a move there and getting into the top four spots representing Canyon and Villegas of Ayala right there in that top group as well. Meanwhile, Claremont and Ayala taking care of business and right now very comfortable in occupying two of those five spot automatic spots for next week. Claremont, your leader right now, just ahead of Ayala. Claremont trying to advance on to the finals for a 13th season in a row. And Edwards leading the charge there with her teammate Denise Chen, not too far behind. Edwards starting to approach the gauntlet here and make that last right turn and last 100 yards to pay dirt. And she'll be your individual winner here in Division Two Heat Two, moving on. Robar right now currently got to take that right turn as well. She's trying to secure an automatic bid on to next week as an individual. And Villegas of Ayala, Chen and Oliva interchanging their fifth and sixth. That clock right now at 18 minutes. 
And so Edward showing you she's not just one of the top half milers in the state of California. Right now, that's Rovar for second. Vilegas of Ayala for third. Aliva of Canyon going to come up for fourth. That looks like Bomer of Claremont making a late charge there and getting into the top five. back for a 13th year in a row as they take four of the top eight spots there in heat two for division two. Meanwhile, Ayala, they will also work their way back. And for Ayala, that is 21 years straight now they have made the CIF championships. spots. Meanwhile, Heat 3, our lead group there, about to take the second of two revolutions around Valley Loop. Uh, division 3, or uh, Division 2, Heat 3, now working their way at the base of switchbacks. Our leader's now working up switchbacks and they're coming to sight. Coming through with three of the top four at the mile mark. And team scores, heat three at the mile mark. Myriad of Valley, Woodridge, Tesoro, and then a big battle there between Liberty, El Toro, Glendora, and Dos Pueblos. of Newport Harbor, your leader. She was right behind Avina going into the switchbacks, but will now come out just ahead, about maybe 15 yards there ahead of Avina, the talented sophomore from Murrieta Valley. Going back to Heat 2, Division 2, Claremont, they will be an automatic qualifier. Ayala, Canyon of Anaheim Hills, Modern Day, Modern Day will make it. They are fourth place there in Division Two Heat Two. In fifth, Peninsula at 126. Those are your automatic qualifiers: Claremont, Ayala, Canyon, Modern Day, and Peninsula.
And of those previous two heats, those two heats of Division II, San Marcos had the faster team time at 102 minutes there, 102. And so they are right now in the driver's seat to move on, but they gotta, we gotta see about heat three here. So the sixth place team here in heat three, we'll have to compare them to San Marcos to see who that 16th qualifier is. Division two, McCullough of Newport Harbor. And you got Avina, Lieberman, Sophia, and Jordan, the two sisters there, and the Nighthawks of Marietta Valley. And Amber Daisy, McKinsey Forrest of Tesoro, Waltress of El Dorado, Wilbur, Iver, and Fern of Woodbridge, and El Toro starting to make up ground here towards the second half of the race here in heat three. Marlon McCullough, she'll be our leader as they crest the very peak there at Poop Out, trying to join her teammate, Keaton Robar, who qualified as an individual. But Avina keeping her close there and now closing that gap to about five meters. So that gap between the top two girls there in Heat 3, Division 2 girls continues to close there. McCullough and Avina now next to each other as they come through the two mile mark at 11.56. Sophia Lieberman, very talented mile from a year ago. And Marietta Valley coming through at 12.11. Meanwhile, McKenzie Forrest and Amber Daisy continuing to move up. They're now occupying fourth and fifth, coming through there right around 12.24. McCullough now open up a lead again, about 10 meters there, as we see her at the very bottom there, a poop out. Avina keeping her within close ranks there. Meanwhile, Lieberman 
of Marietta Valley. So Marietta Valley, two in the top three here with just a little more than a half mile to go here in heat three of division two. And top five squads will automatically qualify for next week's championships. And then that 16th squad will be decided by the fastest sixth place team, that being San Marcos right now. So San Marcos had a heat one watching that clock of our sixth place team here in heat three. But McCullough really putting in some good surges here as she now moves all the way to the top of poop out. And what was a 10 meter lead is now open up to about a 25 meter lead there with Avina and Lieberman running two, three. You are young ladies from Tesoro, Daisy and Forrest now occupying those fourth and fifth spots as they have done for the last mile. So at the two mile mark, he scores at the two mile mark. Murrieta Valley, our top seed, They're actually number two seed in this race, occupying that top spot. El Toro, those Chargers, they moved up from fifth at the mile mark up to second at the two mile mark. And Woodbridge, right there next to El Toro with Tesoro, those top four squads well ahead of our fifth squad. That fifth squad being Dos Pueblos and Liberty fighting there at that six spot Liberty out of Winchester out of Riverside County. McCullough of Newport Harbor. She is on the airstrip with a little less than 400 meters to go. She was your Sunset League champion a week ago. Two weeks ago, check that. And now trying to join her teammate, Keaton Robar, as two individuals qualifying there for Newport Harbor. Now coming into the gauntlet, Marley McCullough of Newport Harbor. That clock still 17-15. Very nice effort here. Avina of Murrieta Valley comfortably sitting there in second, as is her teammate Lieberman comfortably there in third place. We'll bring her in, folks. This is Marley McCullough, Newport Harbor. She's going to be well under 17.45. Very nice effort there, A young lady from Orange County there. She'll come across unofficially about 17.42. And the sophomore from Murrieta Valley, Mary Alvina. She'll comfortably come across there just around 18 minutes. Seventeen forty-one, your official time there for the winner. Lieberman now coming across. She'll be under eighteen twenty. The Division Three boys, Heat One, now going into the first of two revolutions around Valley Loop as we wrap up the action here for our Division Two girls. This is Heat Three. Dakota Danaher of El Toro coming across at 1854. Forrest and Daisy of Tesoro coming across at 1835. 
And Waltress of El Dorado taking that eighth spot, so she's looking to qualify as an individual. McCullough, she did all automatically qualify there by winning the seat at 1741. Lucy Guerrero of El Toro, 1908. The trick of Gus Lope, Joseph Leblos, also finishing in that top 10. First across with all five girls. They sat out their number one runner today and still will move on and advance, as will Miriam of Valley. This will be the seventh straight season there for the Chargers of Dancy in El Toro. So Miriam of Valley, they're now with some eight. Now with their fifth runner across, and Woodbridge now with their fifth runner. Officially here from Heat 2, Heat 3, excuse me, Division 2, Murita Valley, El Toro, Tesoro, Woodbridge, and Dos Pueblos. They will be your automatic qualifiers. And for that last 16th spot, which comes down to team time, it looks like San Marcos of Heat 1 is going to prevail and get that 16th spot the fastest team time. be the first heat of Division Three boys. The best team, uh, the number one ranked team in the state here, Dana Hills, comes through that first mile with six boys in the top seven spots. Firmly in control, led by Evan Noonan, the outstanding junior. They came by at 456, but Harris, Hernandez, Hunter and Woodruff all right with him. Mixed in there also Logan Torres of Buena, Samuel Bado of Royal, and Sebastian Martinez, Shadow Hills, Diego Mejia of Godinas, and Ford Haberstad of Yorba Linda. That's our top 10 through the mile. This is the first of three heats on the boys' division three. And that means the first five teams automatically qualify. Individuals have to play. And you can see the white shorts and the blue and white striped tops 
Uh, Dana Hill, the front back there, checked the hill and moved their way down from the top of the switchbacks. It was the Orange County Sweepstakes champions this year. South Coast champions, they were third in the state last year and third in the, in the Southern Section champions. Currently ranked number one in the state in all divisions. A girl also in here, ninth last year in the Southern Section, Oak Park. They made the D3 finals last year. Servite, Orange County Small Schools champions this year. A Royal, the Mission Valley League champions, last couple, last three years in a row in the Mount Sac Division Three sweepstakes champions, also in this heat along with Fullerton, Azusa, Desert Hot Springs, Godinas Fundamental, Granite Hills, Mayfair, Norte Vista, Pacifica, and Santiago. And looks like Logan Torres of Buena is leading this heat, heading at the crossover there. Sees the Dana Hills boys all running as a group, talking to each other and cruising through. about halfway up, poop out. Once again, top five teams qualifying here in the first heat. Our leaders now in the first heat in Division Three have gone by the two-mile mark. Logan Torres of Buena and Samuel Bado of Royal. There are leaders, Diego Mejia, Godinas just a few seconds back, and then the Dana Hills boys, Hernandez, Noonan, Harris, Woodruff, Hunter, all right in there, along with Emmanuel Lopez of Servite and Grant Jones of Oak Park. Once again, the 
teams, the top five go. Individuals, though, have to be in the top eight regardless. They have to be in the top eight overall in their heat. Dana Hills, the first with five across the 3,200. And then Oak Park also with five now. And a girl with five. And Arroyo now joins, joins Gura, Oak Park, and Dana Hills with five across the two mile mark. The cable's doing good. And we've got a pack of two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven boys all together as they make the turn and heading that group. The blue and white traditional stripes of Dana Hills and our defending state champion Evan Noonan right in there leading that group. They're cruising here. Evan's run 14.49 on this course a couple years ago. And that incredible last 4.44 last mile when he won the sweepstakes championship. And here we go with the second heat in boys division three. Just start down the airstrip now. And they go over, the leaders go over the top of the switch uh, reservoir at 13.15. Looks like Mejia right in the middle of all those Dana Hills boys. group is a group of four now as they come halfway down reservoir make the turn coming down between the saddle just about to come onto the airstrip As they come off the saddle onto the airstrip, Diego Mejia of Godinas, who was the Orange County Medium Schools champion, right with the Dana Hills boys. And the Dana Hills boys going one, two, three, just about to make the turn into the airstrip. On the airstrip now into the gauntlet. It's like Noonan Woodruff running well with Hernandez. And here they come, three across, just under the bridge. Top ranked team in the state here, Dana Hills. The Dolphins running well. Godinas, here comes Mejia, coming under bridge in fourth. They run right at just a shade over 15.40. That winning time, 15.38 for the three boys from Dana Hills. Mejia, 15.48 fourth. Harris, also Dana Hills, 15.51. 
Battle of Royal gets the sixth spot at 1552. Emmanuel Lopez of Servite, seventh, and Oliver Hunter of Dana Hills in eighth. So Dana Hills, five in the top eight. and a girl I have five finishers across the line in the first heat. at the mile, Santa Margarita at 69, Thousand Oaks 79, Canyon of Canyon Country 119, West Torrance 121, Moore Park 129, and West Covina 143 at the mile. and he too now making their way behind the stadium coming down just about ready to move into guard alley and head to the crossover I remind coaches if your team has just arrived to make sure that you are at the clerk 15 minutes prior to the start of your race and that would be race ready that means in uniform top uniform bottoms and the correct bib and we cannot stress that enough make sure that your bibs match the correct athletes so the scores can be correct and you need to be at the clerk 15 minutes prior to the start of your race you might have another athlete go with your athletes to check in 
because they'll have to take their sweats off and leave their water bottles, etc., with them before they go through the clerk. got ourselves a group there, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boys all within 10 meters of each other halfway up poop out. go through the 3200, two mile mark, Galindo of Savannah, right with Wast of West Torrance, Herbert of Santa Margaret, two seconds back at 1014, two seconds by him, Hunter Lee of Moore Park, Papa Vassalo of Thousand Oaks, Chua of Roland, and Herbers of West Torrance. That's the top seven. Rounding out the top 10, White of Moore Park in eighth, Gibson of Santa Margarita in ninth, and Asher Lee of Royal in 10th. Santa Margarita, top ranked team in this heat, 10th in the state meet last year and third in the southern section last year, then the first with five through the two mile mark. the fifth ranked team in this division, seventh in the state last year. They are second at the two mile. West Torrance, 2021 state champions in this division. They're third, Canyon of Canyon Country. They are running right now in 4,000 Oaks in fifth, Roland in sixth, very close now. This is the score at two miles. Santa Margarita, 54, Moore Park, 88. West Torrance 91, Canyon 94, Thousand Oaks 112, Roland just six points back at 118. Sir? And that would be for those Sir? fifth and sixth spots, he's, uh, the fifth automatic special. qualifier. Yeah. The sixth would have to make it on time. Savannah is seventh at 173. And in the all red there, Matthew Galindo running very well. He was the Division Three Mount Sac Invitational Sweepstakes champion this year and 14.58 on this course. And he has now opened up a little bit of a lead there. Class of West Torrance running well in second. They go over the top of the hill very quick, right at 12.45 for Galindo. But then again, Galindo has run 14.58 on this course. So just in line with a solid effort today, the Orange League champion, 
last year and this year leading this race. Strip, just about 250 meters to go. Matthew Galindo in the red of Savannah, Andrew Quas in the brown and gold of West Torrance. here could be one of the fastest times of the day Matthew Galindo comes under the Bader Bridge he's just a shade over 15 Andrew Quast of West Torrance right with him gonna be right there with those 1508 1509s today Galindo's official time 1510 Quast 1513 Parker Herbert, Santa Margarita, 1518. Fourth, Hunter Lee, Moore Park, 1520. Jaron Chu of uh, Roland, fifth at 1525. Thomas White of Moore Park, 1525 and sixth. Ryan Herbers of West Torrance, 1529 in seventh. And Zach Gibson of Santa Margarita, 1539 in eighth. Liam Pavlasolo of Thousand Oaks, 1543 in ninth. And David Regosa of Moore Park, Finish or still at just 16:30 here. It's a very quick heat. Heat number two, heat number three, and our boys race now making their way around the valley loop. Looking good for Santa Margarita, Moore Park, West Torrance, Canyon, and Roland now has moved up well. Thousand Oaks is going to be a good battle for that fifth, sixth, and seventh spots.
So these are fluid scores, meaning not all the schools have finished five runners, so their runners do not throw up the scoring. But team-wise, it'll look like Santa Margarita will go on as the first place team out of this heat at 57. Moore Park at 71, West Torrance at 88. And then it looks like Canyon 101 and Roland 106. Thousand Oaks right now sixth at 130. They'll have to go on team time if they're gonna move on. And heat three now going up the switchbacks almost to the top. At the mile we had Wallace of Redlands East Valley, Miller of South Torrance, Douglas of Corona Del Mar, Rodriguez of Santa Paula, Simon of Corona Del Mar, Valles and Bodell of West Ranch were the top seven through the first mile, right around 4.52. That's heat three heading up to the top of the switchbacks. The team score at the mile, West Ranch was in the lead at 40, Redlands East Valley second at 81, Torrance third at 99, Corona Del Mar also at 99, and Braille Linda fifth at 132, Mission Viejo sixth at 145. Looks like Wallace of Redlands East Valley with a slight lead. Uh, we've got a good pack of five there, separated by just about 10 meters now, making their way down behind the stadium. Right Make them go and watch. You got it. Finish strong, Brandon. Push. Let's go. 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 Wallace and Miller are leading us through the crossover at halfway. So Thousand Oaks indeed will get that sixth spot and their team time is faster than the sixth place team from the first heat. So they'll have to sweat it out here as this heat goes and see what the team time is. Their team time was 83.32. So the sixth place team in this heat right now would have to run faster than that to get that sixth team spot. Still a solid group of five there, halfway up poop out in heat three here on the boys, division three.
leaders now in heat three have made it through the two mile with Wallace and Miller still our leaders. Max Douglas of Corona Del Mar and Frank Rodriguez of Redlands East Valley are in third and fourth. Steinman of Corona Del Mar, Maldonado of Yorba Linda in fifth and sixth. Baez of West Ranch in seventh. Walsh of Corona Del Mar and Alan Perez of Sierra Vista have moved up 10 spots now from the mile to the two mile and they are running in eighth and ninth. Rojas of Simi Valley in 10th. Here's the team score at the two mile mark here in the heat that's just about ready to start heading up Reservoir. West Ranch at 35, Mission Viejo second at 67, Redlands East Valley at 78, Braille Linda has moved up well, Braille Linda 101, Mission Viejo in there 88, and Torrance at 109. So the top six schools, West Ranch, Corona Del Mar, Mission Viejo, Redlands East Valley, and Torrance at the two mile. And that's the first four leading this heat on halfway up the first half of Reservoir Hill. Looks like Rodriguez and Wallace of Redlands East Valley with Miller and Douglas. Miller from South Torrance and Douglas from Corona Del Mar. And Douglas and Miller now pick it up a little bit as they approach the top of Reservoir Hill. And they go over right at Like Mac Douglas of Crow Del Mar is going to come off the saddle and onto the airstrip in the lead in this heat. Douglas now making the turn off the airstrip into the garden. He's at 1450 right now. Gonna be in that mid 15 minute range. Go break! There we go! Watch it! And just about to come under the bridge here, Max Douglas, Bron Del Mar. It's gonna be right in that mid 15 20 range. Frank Rodriguez, Redlands East Valley. And Liam Miller of South Torrance now. 
going two and three. Douglas is winning time, 15-21. Rodriguez, 15-30, and Miller, 15-32. Kevin Steinman at Corona Del Mar, 15.44, and Maldonado, Yor Belinda, 15.46 and fifth. Battling for those top eight spots. Walsh of Corona Del Mar, 15.55. Wallace of Redlands East Valley, 15.58. And Valles of West Ranch, 15.59. and Mission Viejo are the first schools with five finishers across the line. Torrance now joins them with five and so does Brea Linda. Got five schools now that have five finishes across the line in Heat 3. West Ranch, Mission Viejo, Brea Linda, Redlands East Valley, and Torrance. Interesting here in this heat three. Looks like the five automatic qualifiers will be West Ranch at 55, Corona Del Mar 65. Once again, these are not the final scores, but it should be the final places. Bishop Viejo third at 86, Braille into 104, Redlands East Valley at 105, and then Torrance. If Torrance holds on to that sixth spot. Sixth spot, Thousand Oaks in the second heat had a team time of 83.32. It looks like Torrance's team time will be 
And our girls are getting after it here in this first heat of the girls division three, 240 at the half mile. Number one ranked Dana Hills from the South Coast League in this race, along with other top seeds, North Torrance, South Torrance, Torrance, and Roland. Those are our top five seeds here in heat one, division three girls. Becky Osorio, West uh, our early leader, coming through at 547. Hope Brookins of Florida Vista right there in her shadow, coming in under 548. Brookins trying to qualify as an individual for the second season in a row. Hope is fond of South Torrance leader, up there, along with Jenna Johnson of Agora, also trying to qualify as an individual. Captain Soto of North Torrance, Emily Gilbert of Finland, Let's go, 
So Osorio and Brookins, West Covina and Norta Vista, both qualifying as individuals. And now working their way to the very top of switchbacks. That is Osorio in the all white, Brookins in the black over red of Norta Vista. Brookins making a move there on the downhill as they're about to make that U-turn. In heat one, division three. Brookins continue to make some moves there on the bottom part of switchbacks and now opening up that lead to about 50 meters, but Osorio keeping her within touch there as these three girls have broken a wide lead there. Esponda of South Torrance currently running third. Going back to team scores here at the mile mark, South Torrance holding a slight edge there over Dana Hills. Dana Hills, our number one ranked squad here in Division Three. North Torrance currently running third. Pacifica at a Garden Grove in fourth in fifth and Roland occupying that sixth spot just ahead of West Covina there. Again, top five squads will automatically qualify on to next week's championships and that sixth squad will compare them over the course of the three races. The team with the fastest team time will advance as that 16th entrant there for next weekend's Division Three championships. So Brookins now opening up about a 10 meter lead there just ahead of Osorio and Esponda now starting to close ranks there on Osorio about 10, 15 meters behind there. Jenna Johnson of Agora also in that front group along with Soto of North Torrance. Brookins continue to lead the charge there. Meanwhile, Jacqueline Soto, the ninth grader out of North Torrance, the league champion there the Pioneer League. As their squad's ranked number six, along with South Torrance, who was third in that Pioneer League, currently ranked seventh, and Chloe Esponda, who is the league runner-up to Soto, also in that front group.
on the starting line right now is Heat 2, the girls Division 3. Our top seeds there, West Torrance, currently ranked second. Shadow Hills, ranked number five. Oak Park, number eight. Corona Del Mar, ranked 11th. And Canyon, out of Canyon Country, currently ranked 14th. We'll be getting going momentarily. We'll also be getting two mile splits here any moment from our Heat 1 here in Division 3. Hope Brookins continue to open up that lead there on the back part of the course here. She's now out to about a seven second advantage there over Osorio. Meanwhile, Esponda, a South Torrance, a 12.37. Jenna Johnson, number four, a 12.45. Okada, a Torrance, 12.46. And Nakamura, a South Torrance, 12.49. So South Torrance, the two of the top six at the two mile mark. Brookins now working her way towards the top of switchbacks. And Osorio in the white top there, Wes Covina, maintaining the same, about the same advantage here, what we've seen over the last mile or so. Brookins and Osorio running one, two. Esponda of South Torrance. For Heat 1, Division 3 girls, Dana Hills now moving into a slight two-point advantage there at the two-mile mark ahead of South Torrance. Torrance running third right now. Pacifica of Garden Grove maintaining that fourth spot here. Remember, top five automatically qualifying. Roland at the two-mile mark occupying that fifth spot. And North Torrance right there in sixth place. A lot of movement going on there in that first heat of Division Three girls. Dana Hills, your top-ranked squad, maintaining that advantage over South Torrance. Brookins maintaining that lead now onto the airstrip with less than 400 meters to go. Meanwhile, in heat two, 
Our girls now working their way around Valley Loop. Heat one. Now in the last 400 meters of competition here for Brookins and Osorio. They have maintained the same places all throughout here. Brookins trying to qualify once again for the CIF finals. Last year, just barely missing it there. Finishing 13th overall. Brookins, Osorio, Esponda, Johnson, and Akata. The top five here onto the airstrip. Johnson of Agora trying to snag one of those individual spots onto next weekend. Remember, top eight on any, if you're not on the qualifying team, you finish in the top eight, you too also are invited on to next weekend. And Hope Brookins now 50 meters away from pay dirt here and trying to make sure she makes her way back to the CIF finals for a second consecutive season. And that clock at 18.20. So Brookins went 18.57 at the Mount Sac Invitational about a month ago, and she comes back with the 18.27 to capture heat one of Division Three. Osorio of West Covina. Also in position to move on as an individual if her team does not finish in the top five. West Covina. And in third, Chloe Esponda comfortably coming across there representing her South Torrance squad. And a great battle here for these final five spots. Okada of Torrance with a head of steam here trying to get into that top four. Meanwhile, Jenna Johnson of Agora, she will secure her spot on to next week as an individual at 19-13. Nakamura of South Torrance, helping her squad out South Torrance with two in the top six. So Brookings, your winner, 18.25. Osorio, 18.41. Esponda in 19.07, just ahead of Okada. Jenna Johnson of Agora, 19.13. Nakamura, South Torrance, 19.24. Quincy Lott leading the crew there for Dana Hills. Dana Hills running as a pack and easily securing their spot onto next weekend where they will go in as the favorites for the Division Three Championship. Miss Katarina Madrzewski.
Rami Yahweh, Corona Del Mar, continue to be a leader there. 537, she ran at the mile. Speaking of the mile, Shadow Hills, your early leader there in Heat 2, Division 3 girls. West Torrance running right there in second. Oak Park, Canyon of Canyon Cross Country, and solidifying those top four spots at the, spots of the mile. Fullerton in fifth, and Corona Del Mar in sixth. Going back to Heat 1, Division 3 girls. that heat one the scores are fluid and unofficial but right now the places should remain there dana hills and south Torrance punching their tickets forward on to next weekend's championships torrance currently in third roland in fourth and the top five automatically qualify in fifth pacifica of garden grove and in sixth place there north torrance They'll have to sit and wait here and see what the team times come out to here over the next two races. But congratulations to Dana Hills, South Torrance, Torrance, Roland, and Pacifica of Garden Grove as those five squads are automatic qualifiers on the next week. Jambe Yahweh of Corona Del Mar, your leader. Madraguski of Oak Park, continue to run second. Salem and Herrera. Fernandez and Salceda of Shadow Hills trying to lead their squad back to the state championships for the second year in a row. Villarreal of Citrus Hill, Avila of Shadow Hills, Torres of Western, and McAndrew of Fullerton. Those are your top 10 at the mile mark. Shadow Hills hold the slight advantage there over West Torrance, 51 to 55.
And Jabe Yahweh continue to open up a lead there. We're talking about 28 second advantage there over Cynthia Herrera of Canyon of Canyon Country. She comes through a 12-16. Camilla Salem of West Torrance a 12-17. Madraduski of Oak Park a 12-36. Our young lady, the senior from Corona Del Mar. And halfway up, poop out. A little more than 800 meters to go here for our senior from Corona Del Mar. She came through the two mile mark at 11.48. Meanwhile, Herrera of Canyon of Canyon Country, about maybe 40, 50 yards behind her, and she's working her way up towards the top of poop out as well. So at the two mile mark, team scores here, our top ranked squad here in heat two, West Torrance with a slight advantage there over fifth in division three. And yet, And those of you looking to join us, uh, December 2nd for the Foot Locker West Regionals. Easy way to sign up here. As go right near the finish line there by the Gatorade tent, the CIF tent, and there's gonna be a barcode. You just scan it, sign up, and right there, reserve us here December 2nd at the Foot Locker Western Regionals. We'd love to have all of you come back. A lot of you here next weekend to join us. Coming through the gauntlet here, Melissa Jambi Inyawe, senior out of Corona Del Mar. And right now the clock still. Under 18 minutes. And our folks have finished results. We're gonna switch the clock so we can get an accurate time here. It looks like Jambi Inyawe will come across right around 17, a little south of 17. 50 for the win here in Heat 2, Division 3.
And Cynthia Herrera of Canyon, Canyon Country. And she went 1841 at Mount Sac Invite, and she comes across here at 1821, a 22nd improvement there, and she will move on to next weekend. And her team looking to join her as well as they were runner-ups in the Foothill League. Officially there, John Bean Yahweh, 1746. Very impressive performance there. One of the faster times on the day here at the Division II slash three prelims. Again, top five teams automatically qualify. Herrera coming across at 1820. Salem of West Torrance at 1852. Madraduski of Oak Park at 19 flat. Those are your top four. And Ruby Avila of Shadow Hills coming across at 1922, which she's got company, most of your teammates, Miss Salcedo and Fernandez also sneaking in under 1930. Wolfinger and Paulson of West Torrance coming across at 1932. West Torrance with three in the top 10. Shadow Hills with five across the line along with West Torrance and Canyon. Canyon Country, those three squads have their five scorers across the line. Get top five teams automatically qualify. Meanwhile, on the course right now is Division Three Heat Three. Our top seeds being your Belinda, Santa Margarita, Moore Park, Thousand Oaks, and Redlands East Valley. Those are the five squads projected to move on to next week. Let's see how that all works its way out here as those leaders now at the top of switchbacks. But we got a close one here in Heat 2, Division 3, Shadow Hills, West Torrance, Canyon, uh, Canyon Country, and Oak Park Fullerton now with five across the line. And we go back to that last heat. And Division Three Heat Three coming through the mile mark there. Rightly Zuba, first year running cross country, leading the charge there. Meanwhile, the sophomore, her teammate from Santa Margarita, Alana Thomas, right there next to, along with Cassidy Adita of Thousand Oaks. Team leaders at the mile mark in Heat Three, Santa Margarita with a sizable advantage there over your Belinda, Thousand Oaks. Yeah. 
Also in that front group in Heat 3, Division 3, Audrey Heath of Capistrano Valley trying to qualify as an individual. Hornug of Redlands East Valley up there is front, right along with Frosto of Santa Fe. Audrey Heath of Capistrano Valley now taking the lead there, going into poop out in Heat 3 of Division 3. Meanwhile, going back to Heat 2, top five teams automatically qualifying. These are unofficial. West Torrance, Shadow Hills, Canyon, Canyon Country, Corona Del Mar securing that fourth spot. Three points ahead of Oak Park. Oak Park in that fifth spot ahead of Fullerton. So indeed, congratulations there. Heat 2, Division 3, West Horn, Shadow Hills, Canyon and Canyon Country, Oak Park, and Corona Del Mar, Fullerton. They'll be in that sixth spot there with 137, but their time is going to be just a little short there of what we saw in that first heat. And North Torrance with that advantage there, running just a little faster there in Heat 1. So we got to work with Heat 3 here and look at that sixth place team. Still on so me. Audrey Heath continuing to expand upon her lead there. She comes through the two mile at 12.24. The sophomore from Capistrano Valley, Cassidy Cadita of Thousand Oaks coming across at 12.30. And Alana Thomas of Santa Margarita and Riley Zuga of Santa Margarita. The Eagles running 3-4 there at the two mile mark. Serenity Fausto of Santa Fe currently running fifth. Katie Hornug of Redlands East Valley in sixth. That's your top six there at the two mile mark.
got ourselves a quite close one here. Division three girls, Heat three, Aubrey Heath trying to qualify as an individual. She was the runner up in the Seaview League. Meanwhile, Cassidy Kajita of Thousand Oaks now marching on her and now moving into the lead as we move into about a thousand meters to go here in Heat three, Division three girls. Kajita of Thousand Oaks, now your leader. Heath of Capuchano Valley in second. That's Alana Thomas in the all-white of Santa Margarita running third. Her teammate Zuza still maintaining her fourth spot there with that trio. Let's try to close ranks here with a half mile to go. So our leader now, our new leader of that, Cassidy Kajita of Thousand Oaks. two mile mark. Santa Margarita holding a 37 point advantage there over Moore Park. Yorba Linda running third at the two mile mark. Thousand Oaks currently ranked 10th in the division. They're running fourth. Redlands East Valley running fifth. Only two points separating Thousand Oaks and Redlands East Valley. Meanwhile, Arroyo holding a sizable advantage there over Monrovia for that sixth spot. And it will come down to who has the faster team time between them and North Torrance. She comes, great race there for Miss Cassidy Kadita of Thousand Oaks. Great second half of the race, and she's going to bring this one home for the individual win here in Heat Three for Division Three girls. And unofficially, she's going to come across very impressive here, 18:34. Meanwhile, Lana Thomas with a great surge here in the gauntlet, representing Santa Margarita, will be just ahead of Aubrey Heath. Heath will also secure a spot on to next week for that third place finish. Meanwhile, Zubza. Azuda of Santa Margarita currently running fourth. And Gibble of Moore Park is going to be finishing in the top five as well. Serenity Fosto of Santa Fe. Nice strong finish there along with Katie Hornug of Redlands East Valley. She'll be coming in under 19-15. So officially there, Kajita's time at 18.34.9. Thomas and Heath coming in under 18.50. Zuba coming through under 19 minutes. Santa Margarita had a very nice advantage there at the two mile mark. And looking to punch their ticket on to next week as well. And while Yorba Linda. Also looking strong on the team side of Moore Park and Thousand Oaks 
also right there in the running of advancing on to next week. Remember, top five automatically advance. Any individuals in the top eight whose team does not advance will also get an invitation to compete at next week's Division Three Championships. So the Eagles of Santa Margarita are first squad with five across. They come in currently ranked third in Division Three. And now Moore Park with their fifth runner coming across. And Noor Park coming into the action. Actually, Santa Margarita came into the action, ranked fourth. Noor Park coming in, ranked ninth. Your Belinda, the North Hills League champions, ranked third. Also looking for their fifth to come across. So right now, Santa Margarita and Noor Park looking really good there. I'm moving on to next week. Thousand Oaks now joining the party there, along with everybody else. Redlands, East Valley, Arroyo. Those are your five squads with five across right now. And now your Belinda with that fifth runner coming across. They now leapfrog up to second place. And these uh, scores are unofficial and fluid as we speak, but Santa Margarita, they'll be your winners here in Heat 3, Division 3 girls. Your Belinda and Moore Park, two points separating them to second place. Thousand Oaks right there at 82 points. Redlands East Valley at 96. So we want to congratulate all of our athletes, our teams, and individuals who advanced on to next week's championship. We'll be back here bright and early next Saturday at 7.45. And again, before you leave, don't forget, you can sign up for the Foot Locker West. We'll be back here on December 2nd. Of course, we'll be back here next Saturday as well for the championships. But beforehand, you can sign up for the Foot Locker Western Regional. Just go over there by the finish line there. They got a barcode. You can scan it real quick off your phone, have you signed up, and have your seat reserved here for December 2nd, the Foot Locker Western Regionals. Again, we want to thank you all for joining us this afternoon, this morning, I should say. And congratulations to everybody who advanced on to next week.